of a religious freedom in the world. All right, we were assaulted. No one who assaulted us was arrested. But the person that was speaking and freely exercising their Christian beliefs was handcuffed, and we don't even know where he's at right now. Okay? We're not being protected as Christians in Toronto. All right? You're trying to shut us down and make us leave. Officer, a mob was formed against us. We're the ones being protected. We have just as much in the Church and Wellesley area has police on the scene right now. And CB24's Brandon Gonez is there. And he joins us live with uh, what's going on. So what's happened, Brandon? Steph, there was a little bit of a tense situation that took place in the heart of the gay village right at Church in Wellesley. Uh, as soon as we arrived on scene, we did see a large police presence. You can see here they're with their bicycles as well as they are monitoring the situation. From what we've been able to gather, it sounds like there was a religious group that began a circle prayer and things got a little bit tense between the community and the religious group. So I want to begin by bringing in, and your name, Kaiza it is? Kezia. Kezia. You were with the religious group, so what took place? when you got here and why were you here? So we were here because we do believe that we have the freedom of speech and the freedom of religion and we came here not to preach against anyone and their beliefs but we came to talk about the love of Jesus and we were spreading that to anyone that would hear. Uh, we were just praying in our circle and we started to get harassed already by other people and uh, our preacher he was speaking into a microphone and he was talking about the love of Jesus. He had not said anything wrong against anyone and he was being pushed by other people and the police came and they arrested him because they said that he was uh, speaking um, where people don't like uh, the language that is being spoken. What type of language was being used? The language that was being used was that Jesus loves you, that Jesus can save you. If you need help, if you need a change in your life, Jesus is the answer. And that's what we said. And meanwhile, when the police came and arrested Dor, there were people being pushing, uh, not Dor, sorry, the pastor, there were people pushing and assaulting him on the spot. But the only person that was arrested was our pastor. Was there any hate speech that was being used in the prayer? There was no hate speech that was being used in, a, in the prayer. There was someone that said, yes, I am a bigot. And the pastor replied to him, did you say you are a bigot? And that's what was may have been misconstrued and misinterpreted by other people. Okay, thank you, Kezia. We're going to check in with police to confirm whether someone has been arrested, but I want to bring in this gentleman here. Your name, please? Nick. Nick. Okay, you were walking by when this was taking place, the prayer circle. So how did it kind of get out of control? Uh, I was walking home from work, minding my business, and I saw them uh, congregating on the corner here. They weren't just here uh, to, to talk about Jesus. They came with cameras, they came with a, sp a speaker and a microphone, and then they got on and started uh, preaching the love of Jesus. Um, and that's when the community responded and, and showed up to sort of counter that messaging. Did you hear, hear any speech that could have been considered hate or anything like that? Well, when you come here and start saying that uh, you need Jesus in your life because there's something wrong with you, um, I don't know that that's hate speech, but it definitely doesn't make people feel good about themselves. Okay, thank you so much for speaking with us. And I want to bring in Inspector uh, Get Gatto here really quickly. Um, Inspector, thanks so much for speaking with us. I know this is an active situation, yes. but we're hearing that someone was arrested. Can you confirm that? And if so, who was the gentleman? I can confirm one person has been placed under arrest for causing a disturbance and he's been taken to 51 Division and we're currently investigating him right now. So at this point in time, again, I said it was causing a disturbance was the reason why he, why he was arrested. But uh, we are going to be conducting a follow-up investigation to determine and what uh, the the, uh, the 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 message that he was speaking, whether it might be a hate crime or not. I wasn't here and I didn't hear what he said. So we're asking members of the community that were here, anybody who made a video of it, if they wanted to put that media or that video on a portable media storage device and bring it to 51 Division, we're happy to review it. I've uh, had our hate crime investigators from intelligence notified they're going to be going to 51 Division to conduct the follow-up investigation. So that's a long process, but we are looking at what was said. All right. Thank you so much, Inspector Gattel. We are expected to get an update from police, a formal update within the next half hour, but I should remind our viewers that today was the launch of Pride Month in Toronto earlier, not only at Toronto Police Headquarters, but also at City Hall. Both the rainbow and transgender flags were raised again to signify the beginning of Pride Month in Toronto. So it continues to be a little bit of a fluid situation. The crowd uh, presence does seem to have died down at this point. But again, what we have, what we do know now, police have confirmed that one individual, one man has been arrested. 
arrested. He is now in police custody. Whether any charges are going to be laid, we're hoping to get an update, like I said, within the next half hour. Reporting live, I'm Brandon Gones. Steph, I'll send it back inside to you. Okay, Brandon, thanks so much. And yes, we'll continue to check back in the village on this situation for you.